So I think we've covered terrain now. So I'll leave that to you and your artistic talents. And we'll get on to something that I introduced here that I didn't really explain or provide more than one reference for. So just for this example, I'm going to go to that blank project. So what we're going to be talking about is the character controller. And this is a package that comes with Unity. It has some special functions and some special features. It's built to ready to go. But it doesn't have a great deal of explanation. So we'll start there. Looking at the character controller, let's find out about that. So we'll go to the documentation. Now, I did have a quick search of the user manual. Now, there's nothing particularly specific I could find in the user manual, but please feel free to browse yourself and let me know if you can find something there. Come to the reference manual, components. As you scroll down here, we're specifically looking to the physics components, and they're hidden in there. There we have character controller. Now, again, this is a bit misleading because, as it states right here, the first or third person player control does not make use of rigid body physics. So, kind of a little bit this reference there. Anyway, here it is, okay? Let me just do that again. So, we're in the documentation, the reference, it's mainly for components. We come down to physics components, character controller. Okay, and here's the Unity information on the character controller. A little bit more than a basic description. So let's see what else we can find. We've got the Unity scripting reference. And when you spell it correctly, character control somewhere around all this stuff. Okay, so we found the Unity scripting reference. All the variables. Inherit variables, all the things that the store values and things that you can modify from outside that make the character controller move and work. So we've got some more there, but still haven't really told us a lot about it. So I did a quick online search. And again, we look at the first two results. Pretty much what we were looking at in our offline documentation. It's running a little slow, so I don't know about opening this once. Okay, so there's the online uh, user manual for the components reference, and then the online Unity scripting reference. Okay, now I went through a couple more of these links, and just people talking about the character controller, not really a, a description or a definition. So, down here, here's the link that I sent you to at the start of the terrain tutorial. And that might take a bit to load. Bear with me. There we go. And you can see the URL there. And if you go back to the start of the terrain set, you'll see how I found this from their main web page to find this tutorial. Basically, type in character controller in the search box. Okay? 14 minutes. This 14 minutes of explanation, do a bit on the terrain, and then we'll talk about both the first person and the third person character controller. And then it goes into some further depth, which is what we're really looking for. All there are any scripts that are attached to these character controllers. How do they work and what do they do? What are, what are they doing? Okay, so there's the best references I can give you for a character controller. Now, apart from that, all we can do is play with one ourselves. Assets. Import package, character controller. It'll import everything. Now, this is the very last time how I explain how to fix this. But on my version, the third person controller always comes in with a warning. Now, if we double click on that warning, we'll open up our script editor, and clicking on the console will highlight the line that has come up in the warning. So if we have a look, again, this is a conditional statement, we're checking for some conditions. Looks like we're checking for two conditions here. We're looking for a left shift being held, or a right shift being held. So, it's safe to assume this is an OR statement. So, 
we could be pushing the left shift or we could be pushing the right shift and that would translate to we are running. Okay, so save that out. Don't need that anymore. Go back to Unity, watch it compile. And you see the warning disappear. Okay, that's the last explanation on the third person character controller fix. So, we've just imported these character controls. What can we do? First, let's create a little prototype stage. Bring in a cube. This is going to be the role of our floor. I've done this so many times, I just have numbers that I punch in. We'll give it a bit of a floor type scale. We'll bring in a directional light so we can see what's happening. Very bold floor, but I won't bother creating material for that. It's just a prototype demonstration. So let's start with the first person controller. Drag that onto your scene or into the hierarchy. I like to drag it on the scene because then I can place it roughly at the same time. Okay? Then you normally zoom in on your character control and get a decent view of the level. Now, the problem with most controllers falling through the floor is the collider is already penetrating the floor collider. So the best fix is just to lift it up off the ground just a little bit. We should give it about points of collider, but just a little bit. Now if we hit play and watch that, we'll see okay, it dropped a little bit. There we go. Now, we have Unity telling us there's something going on here. There are two audio listeners in the scene. There's obviously something wrong with this setup here. Now if we expand on the first person controller, we can see it comes with the main camera. This is highlighted here with our gizmo icon there. So we have two cameras in the scene. Now we know when we're first person, we're usually looking from the perspective of the player. So that's the camera we want. And if we look at both the cameras, we see there are all these components on the camera. And this seems to be the offending item, audio listener. If you look on this camera, yes, most, yes, not, not yet. Most certainly there is an audio listener. Now, we definitely don't need two cameras in the scene until I cover what we use more than one camera for. So we delete the default scene camera. We use the camera that came first person controller. Okay? So from a new scene, if you drag in your controller, you use that camera and you delete the default scene camera. Okay, so let's test that out now. So all the warnings and messages have disappeared. And it seems I can look with my mouse. I can walk. But you don't get much perspective on a white surface. There you can see it walking around. And also, I have some jump functionality. So there it is. Without any definition, there's an example of a character controller. It's just basically a pre-made asset. It's a prefab. It comes with Unity. You can drag it into your scene, and it is already set up as an object. And everything it needs to check for these inputs for walking around, or back, left, right, for jumping, and for using the mouse to look. Now, if you watch that video, it will go into detail, explain the scripts and the component that is attached to this prefab. I'll explain the difference between the mouse look on the main camera and the difference between the mouse look on the controller itself. Okay? So there's the first person controller. Let's have a look at the third person controller. So we fixed that, we haven't really done anything with it. Now, that hasn't come in with a camera. So we're missing the camera. Either create a new scene, start again, or we can find the camera. This will be our main camera. We don't have any other cameras. And there we go. Back to the normal state of things. Now we can put that camera on the Now on with the third person controller. As before, you want to center in and get a good angle of view. Make sure your 
controller collider is not penetrating any other surfaces. And if we hit play, you can see that will settle down to be quite happy. Now as I hit play, you noticed it did look for the camera. So there is some game object find and get component working here. These are all things we'll learn to use ourselves, but that just explains the mystery of how it uses the camera anyway. See a value here. Somewhere in this script, the script is looking for that camera, saying, okay, this is the camera we're going to use to follow our player around. Now, I bring up the third person controller too, because I did see something recently on the forums where someone was having some trouble with the animations. And it seems like, yes, I am getting a reflection of those problems that was described in the question, because I have some weird things going on with animations here too. So let's go to the third person Construction one that hasn't come in yet. Hmm. Yeah, there's got to be some animations here somewhere. Just go to the new scene. I might save that, we're just mucking around. Let's bring in that third person controller again. Now let's look for one. So that's getting into the model itself. Construction worker. This definitely seems to be. Lack of animations here. We go into the animations, okay, it's telling us that there are some animations present. Let's see if Unity can show us where they are. Ah, here they are. Just bring them in. So they weren't as part of the prefab because they normally come in with a model, like I was expecting, but they didn't come in with a model. But we do have a list of all the available animations to this third person character. So let's go through and fix up what's missing here. So, it's asking for an idle animation. We can give it that. It's asking for its walk animation. And similarly, the run and the jump. Okay, so we've just reassociated the animations to that third person controller. As you see, our current setup and creating new scenes. So, first, let's create that floor again. And a directional light just so we can see what's happening. Focus on our character controller, make sure the collider is not penetrating any other colliders. Okay, so let's hit play and see what's happening now. Okay, so all those warnings, errors, and messages have cleared. Do we have any functionality? So if I press walk forward, okay, we'll send you walking forward. Backwards, it's actually turned around, you don't have a backwards, okay? And the left, and right. Okay, so it looks like when we apply a direction, he's going to turn and face that direction and continue his walking forward. Okay, so there is the third person controller fixed up and with the animations reapplied and intact. That was the last one to jump. There we go. Okay, so there we have it. Something that I mentioned but didn't cover or give any more reference material to. And this is the character controller package available in Unity as part of Unity. Okay, third person and the first person. And a couple of fixes and a couple of ways to see how to use it. Okay.